Good evening, I'm Rob Schmidt, and tonight for Rick Garcia. And I'm Sharon Tay. President Obama's signature legislative achievement will, in fact, stand. The Supreme Court today settled the constitutional debate over the Affordable Care Act. KCAL 9's Danielle Nottingham tells us the nation's highest court upheld the controversial plan in a split vote. Tonight, the LAUSD has a new spending plan, but it comes with painful cuts. KCAL 9's Dave Lopez explains the details. The LAPD officers who leaked photos of Rihanna's battered face will not face criminal charges. The single decision comes after a three-year investigation that included several search warrants and checks of computer hard drives, phones, and email accounts. Well, time now to take a look at our own weather. Hot today. Will it stay hot tomorrow? Well, we'll find out. Let's go to Evelyn Taft. A Hermosa Beach resident is back in the running for a world record as he chases his goal to help local In tonight's Dine on a Dime, a cafe with a unique style. It's a place with sandwiches, salads, and a full-service salon. KCAL 9's mm. Suzanne Marquez takes us inside Hollywood's new studio and cafe. LAPD detectives are stepping up efforts to catch the so-called teardrop rapist. Investigators say he's attacked more than three dozen women since 1995. KCAL 9's Louisa Hodge tells us officers have canvassed a neighborhood where they believe he may be hiding. A thief has robbed some Riverside teenagers of a trailer they used to comp compete in robot competitions. Stay safe this 4th of July. Illegal fireworks can get you into trouble. Not only do you run the risk of getting hurt, you could also get into some legal trouble. In 9 on Entertainment, The Wall Crawler is on a new adventure. The Spider-Man franchise is getting a reboot in an untold story that is expected to amaze fans. KCAL 9 Entertainment. Good evening, I'm Rob Schmidt, and tonight for Rick Garcia. And I'm Sharon Tay. A family is demanding answers tonight after a top aide to L.A. City Councilman Richard Alarcon killed a man while driving a city car. They're concerned the city may have withheld information about the case from them and the public. The deadly accident happened. There's a break tonight in a case that outraged an entire community. Police have arrested a 15-year-old boy. He's accused of killing a 1-year-old in South L.A. That baby was shot to death while being held in his father's arms. KCAL 9's Juan Fernandez is live in Tears and screaming caught on camera today in a Fontana courtroom. A teenager accused in a violent high school hazing incident begged the judge to let him go home while his family sobbed in the background. KCAL 9's Rachel Kim is live in Fontana. With the new interim boss of the embattled Los Angeles County Assessor's Office is talking tonight only on KCAL 9. His name is Santos Kryman. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan asked him how he plans to clean up an agency whose former leaders are under investigation for widespread corruption. Well, was it a case of murder or suicide? There are still many unanswered questions in the death of a Hermosa Beach woman, as KCAL 9 Serene Branson explains. The woman showed no fear when she cr chased down a driver who ran from the scene of an accident that killed a little girl. KCAL 9 Stacy Butler is live in Santa Ana, where that... In 9 on Entertainment, Spider-Man hopes to amaze movie fans once again. He's swinging into action in a reboot of the hit franchise. KCAL 9 Entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez talked to the newest Spidey at tonight's movie premiere. I'd like to see that. I bet you're so excited to see that, too. I wasn't a comic book guy. I don't know. It's not too bad. I bet no, everyone I'm wants really to see it. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. You can see it? Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 Right.